today's video we will be creating this kind of magnifying glass effect this is fully customizable you can move it you can change the text and you can also use another image so if you want to download this project file or template check the link in the video description it is absolutely free now let's jump to the video and get started okay so first of all create new document size is 1920 by 1080 and the resolution is 72 pixel per inch click on create First of all create new solid color adjustment layer and pick white color. Also delete this background layer because we do need it. Let's rename it background. Now grab the type tool and draw a rectangle just like this. Copy and paste your text right here and click on this icon to confirm it. Pick the move tool, click on this icon and change it from selection to canvas. Now click on align horizontal center and align vertical center. It will align the selected layer perfectly into the center. Now select both layer and put them in a group. Let's rename it text. Select the ellipse tool and draw a perfect circle just like this. Change its fill to none and stroke to 18. Now pick the move tool and align it to the center. Now let's create new layer. Select this line tool. Make sure its width is 80. Draw a line just like this. Also change its color to black. Select both layer and align them into the center. Let's group them together by pressing Ctrl G and rename it magnifier. Right click on it and choose blending option. In the layer style menu, click on bevel and emboss. Style is inner bevel, technique is smooth, depth is 350, size is 15, angle is 145, and the altitude is 45. Highlight mood is normal, opacity is 90, and the color is white. And the shadow opacity is 0. And then hit OK. Now press Ctrl T to open transform tool and rotate it just like this. Open this group, select this layer, hold Ultra Option key on your keyboard and drag it to the top. It will duplicate the layer and keep it in the same position. Now select the shape tool and change its fill to none and fill to a solid color. Let's rename it mask. Select this layer, press Ctrl J to duplicate it and drag it to the top. Right click on it and choose create clipping mask. It will limit it only on the bottom layer. Now press Ctrl T to open transform tool and scale it just like this. Confirm it when you are happy. Let's rename it scale. Now select these two layers and drag it down. Right click on this layer and choose blending option. In the layer style menu, click on color overlay and add orange color to it with a low opacity and then hit OK. Now on top of everything, create new layer and rename it shine. Pick the brush tool, make sure the foreground color is white and select the soft round brush. Click anywhere on the canvas and press Ctrl T to open transform tool. Right click on it and choose war and then warp it, press enter to confirm it and move it right here. Also drop down its opacity to about 18. Now select this layer and link them together by clicking on this icon. Now select any of these layer and move it around. Now as you can see it is working perfectly. You can also change its size if you want to. Now because this is fully customizable, Let's double click on this layer, it will open a new document and here you can edit the text. You can also replace another image if you want to. Let's replace another image right here, close the document and save it. Photoshop will update everything for you and you can also move it around. Thank you so much guys for watching this video, hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, also ring the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post any video. I'll be catching you in my next video, till then peace. By the way, if you want to learn how to create this kind of design in Photoshop, you can watch this video.